Comcast CL7200 networking video. In this video, we will show how to connect to your scale via Wi-Fi, network, and serial 9-pin connector. If you have not watched our previous video on acquiring network information, a link will be posted in the description. Okay, a few little bits of information you want to get as far as your network goes. First, you want to get your network IP information. You can find this using run IP config on your computer. Next, you want to get your network, Wi-Fi, name and password, and also the security type for that specific network. You can find this on the network tab on your computer. You can also see how to acquire all of this information in our previous networking video. A link will be posted in the video description. Okay, in this part of the video, we'll be connecting to our scale with Wi-Fi via the DHCP method. This is the easiest way to connect to your scale with Wi-Fi because it auto assigns an IP address every time the scale turns on. And make sure you know the network that your computer is using. Scale and computer must be on the same network to communicate. You also want to make sure that you have the CLWorks Pro software installed in the first place so that when we get to that part of the video, you can get started right away. Getting started, we will travel to the communications menu. You can get there from the keypad by entering 1900 menu. You can also get there from the category page by selecting menu, scrolling down, and selecting nine, communication. Here we'll select option one, network settings. From here we'll highlight what everything does on this page. Option one allows you to switch between network and master satellite scales. Option two is DHCP and the method we're gonna currently use to connect to our scale. Option three allows you to select a static unique IP address for your scale. Remote IP, will be highlighted in a future video. RS-232, otherwise known as serial nine pin connector, is another method to connect to your scale. Option six, WLAN setting, is where you will enter your network information. Option seven, WLAN use, enables that setting from the outset. If you cannot access six WLAN setting, it is because option seven is turned off. You wanna make sure that this is set to one, yes. Press the save key. Now select six, WLAN setting. From this menu, we will enter the SSID, the name of our network, the security setting, and the key, password. If you're not sure what network you're trying to connect to, press the tear key. This will highlight networks within range. It will show you the network name, the security setting, and the signal strength. If you cannot connect via this screen, you will need to enter the information manually. For the SSID, enter the network name. It is case sensitive, so make sure you enter it exactly as it appears. Now select your security setting. Option five, WPA2 AES is the most popular, but yours may be different. Now enter your password. And it is also case sensitive. Make sure you enter it exactly as it is on your network. Once you double check everything, Press the save key. You will be returned to the network setting menu. Now that you have your network information entered, we are going to set up your DHCP settings. Select option two, DHCP. This is off by default. 
After entering your network information, you want to select option 1, yes, and press the save key. Your scale will reset to the 1910 menu, and you are now ready to connect to your scale in the CLWorks Pro software. Before we do so, we're going to show how to connect to your scale within a static IP. Looking at the static IP menu, you will see that our gateway has no numbers and we cannot make any changes on this screen. If you are encountering this, it's because you have DHCP on. So if you would like to set your own IP address, make sure DHCP is turned off. Now we can make changes to the IP menu. You will need your gateway and subnet mask information, and you should have this already. You will see that the first three groups of numbers all match. In this case, we know to give our scale a unique IP, we only have to change the last three numbers. You can see here, it automatically takes the next available number. You don't always want to do this because there might be another device using this number. A safe bet is to go up about 10 digits. So we will enter 012 and press the save key. Now that is our unique scale IP. We are ready to go to CLWorks Pro and connect to our scale. It would be good to have your database ready or a few test PLUs for later in this video. For now, we're going to use the scale tab. From here, make sure that you have the TCP IP option selected over here. We've already entered all of our network information, so we're ready to scan for our scale. Press the scan button. If you have everything entered correctly, your scale should show up here. If you have other scales in this menu when you get started, make sure that you delete these first so you don't connect to the wrong scale. Once we see the scale we want to connect to, confirm the IP address, the model, and the scale type. The scale type we need to set manually. All CL7200s are the pole or U type. Now enter name for the scale. From here we can see that the state of the scale is a new scale. We just want to make sure that everything's connected properly. So select the box, press connect test. If you get the connected status, you know that your scale is connected properly. If you get connection failed, you need to check your network information both on the scale and your computer. Once done, press the Save key and travel to the PLU page. Here we're going to test by selecting all of our PLUs and pressing the Download tab. If you get 100% complete, you know that your scale is communicating well. If you would like to connect to your scale via serial cable, you will need a few things to get started. First, you will need a 9-pin to USB adapter. This adapter is not sold with your scale. A link will be posted to a product in the video description. Second, you will need the baud rate for your computer COM port, which is known as your USB. You can find this using the device manager or by watching our previous networking video. Use the serial cable provided and the 9-pin adapter to connect your computer to your scale. Mm -hmm. 
Once you have a good connection to your scale and your computer, we're going to use the same networking menu that we used for the IP. Select menu, nine communication, and one network settings. From here, select RS-232. Here you will need to enter the baud rate for your COM port. We know that ours is 9600. If yours is higher, use the numerical keypad to change it. Once you have your baud rate set, press the save key. Now you're ready to connect your scale via wired serial connection. Okay, now that we're connected to our scale, open the Sealworks Pro software and navigate to the Scale tab. Here, select the Serial option, followed by the Add key. Now we can enter our COM port, baud rate, and model number. If you don't see your COM port show up here, try restarting Sealworks Pro. You should see it after that. Also, for a CL7200, make sure you assign the U-type, followed by a name for your reference. Once you have your information entered, select the box on the left, followed by Connect Test. If everything went OK, you will see a state connected, followed by your version of firmware. Now save and travel to the PLU tab to test your connection. The serial connection downloads slower than the network Wi-Fi connection, but if you see a progress bar here, you know that your serial connection is good and you're ready to update your scale with your new database. If you're having issues connecting to your network, or you don't see your WLAN setting under your network menu, try checking your parameter settings in the calibration mode. You can access this with your calibration switch by selecting option 6, parameter setting. Once there, enter code 731. This will give you access to the use wireless LAN setting. This setting is turned on by default, but sometimes it gets turned off. If it is off, you will not have access to your WLAN settings in the network menu tree. To check this, press the enter key. Use wireless LAN should be set to one for yes. If yours is set to zero for no, you can change this with the one key by pressing save. Another parameter to check is parameter code 900 Ethernet TCP IP. This setting should also be on by default. If this setting is turned off, you would not have access to your static IP setting in the network menu tree. change this, press 1 for yes, followed by the save key. These are a few of the parameters that you can change within the calibration mode. If you have more questions about parameters and what they do, please reach out to your local dealer as they have access to more parameters and settings that you can change on your scale. To exit the parameter setting menu, Turn the switch to the off position and press previous. It will then be returned to the normal weighing mode. That concludes the CL7200 network video connecting to your scale. Please subscribe to our channel to get updates on new content. 
And if you have any questions regarding this video, please leave a comment and we will get back to you with an answer as soon as we can. Thank you for watching this video.